So we're in my art studio today and we're gonna do a craft that I love. In fact, I actually wrote a book about this. I wrote a book called Jewelry for Your Table and it was about taking vintage brooches and making them into napkin rings. And they're really beautiful and you can take all kinds of vintage brooches. In this case, over here I had um, butterflies and over here I have cameos and little pink and silver brooches and they look really cute together. But anyway, what these are are brooches that I attach to napkin rings. They can either be metal or plastic or wooden napkin rings and they're gorgeous because you pick a theme and none of them match. They're not identical, but they complement each other and they look really pretty on a table. And you can make them really fancy or you can make them more casual. So today we're gonna to do two different sets. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. You can buy my book called Joy for Your Table and it's available on Amazon and at uh, barnesandnoble.com. Um, it's a beautiful book, it's full color. It's like a coffee table art book. It's 30 bucks and you can learn how to do this craft and all the different ways you can do it and how to present them in baskets or boxes. But for today, I'm gonna to just show you the basics so that you can make some crafts for gifts. The first set I'm gonna do is for a friend of mine that just got married. Her name is Jenna. And I asked Jenna before she got married what her favorite colors are. And she said she loves yellows and oranges and reds. So I've decided to create a set of jewelry for your table napkin rings for Jenna for her wedding. And I wanted it to be in the favorite colors that she loves. And because all of those colors are warm colors, these are the napkins that the napkin rings are gonna be used with. And these have her favorite colors in them. And they were really inexpensive. I got these at Pier One. And let's see, the set of four was 16 bucks. Okay, and they're beautiful. So this is a set of four. So we're doing four napkin rings for Jenna for her wedding. Because these are warm tones, I decided to use gold because gold looks really pretty with warm tones. If somebody's favorite colors are blues or lavenders or pinks, then I would use silver. But for this, we're gonna use gold. So I've collected four different brooches for Jenna's sets that are all in gold tones that have rhinestones in them because we want them to complement each other but we don't need them to be exactly alike because we don't want them too matchy-matchy. So I got four different beautiful vintage brooches and I collected these from flea markets and thrift stores. In my book I tell you where you can find these but basically here's where you go. Thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, but start with your mom or your grandma's jewelry box. So the first thing we want to do in this craft is remove the pin on the back because all of them have pins on the back and we got to get rid of those because we're going to attach them to a metal ring. And the best way to attach them is to get rid of this pin because the pin kind of gets in the way. So all we're going to do is open up the pin they've all got this pin. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna take a little plier. These are like little jewelry pliers for people that make jewelry. Um, they can cut wire and they can bend wire. Um, if you just take a little set of these and what you're gonna do is just rock it back and forth gently and it breaks right off. Super easy. It only takes a couple seconds. Make sure you carefully dispose of this because they're sharp. So put it in like a used wine bottle and I just put them in a wine bottle and then throw them away and that way nobody will cut themselves on them. So I've taken off the pin. Um, you can take both sides off if you want to. I usually like to leave one side on so that the person that gets it can see that it's an actual brooch. So if you leave one side, that's kind of cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to the metal ring, okay? And so you've gotta kind of figure out, okay, do you want it to go this way? Do you want it to go this way? How's it gonna fit? Now, here's my strategy. In order to do this, you need to set it on something to keep it upright. So I've created this little box with corks in it. Why do I use corks? Corks are porous and they hold on to something round and smooth like this, like these rings. So they hold on to them so that, that they're straight and they won't roll around. See how they just kind of set in there and it keeps them nice and straight and smooth. So what you wanna do first is once you figure out kind of where your pin's gonna go, 
you're just gonna drop the ring right in your box. And how you make these actually is you just take a box, a box of a lid. This is a, an old Christmas box. And I just put down strips of white glue and set my corks in a row and let them dry just with white glue. And so I've used this for years. This is the best thing when you make these. It's really easy and it grabs them just perfectly. It doesn't leave any residue. So you just drop it in and then I use, how do you attach them? Do you use hot glue guns? Do you weld them? Nothing, nothing crazy like that. This is really easy. I use E6000 glue. There are different kinds of jewelry glues that you can use. You want a clear, um, kind of a porous, kind of rubbery glue. When it dries, it's gonna dry clear and it's really rubbery. So it kind of like gives a little bit. So for this, I'm gonna need my glasses because I wanna get into the details and be really careful about how I put this on. So once I kind of find out how I wanna um, arrange this, do I want it this way, do I want it this way, I like to have at least two, hopefully three points of contact. And then once I find out where it's gonna sit, then I take my E6000 glue, so we put a tiny tab of glue right where we think we're, it's gonna set on there. I think, right, here we go. And then we just set it on here. Perfect. Just balance it so it's straight up and down. And look at that. You guys, it's that easy. This is super easy. And these look, when this set is done, you'll see they look so expensive and they look so beautiful. These are the perfect gift for Christmas, weddings, anniversaries, birthdays. They're amazing. Cupcake would like to be a part of our craft today, our experience. Okay. So as you can see, we did our first one and it just sits there and it dries. You're gonna let that E6000 dry. I say dry overnight, but it really won't even take that long. This grabs really fast. So this is a really easy project to do. It looks so beautiful and glamorous and girly. You can do all kinds of different styles. You can do nautical styles. You can do military medals. That, those, are, those look really neat for men. Um, you can do um, cameos, lockets. So anyway, get my book, Jewelry for Your Table, because it has all these different ideas. But for today, we're doing Jenna's wedding and we're doing gold, we're doing gold and rhinestones. So, and these are all brooches again that I got at uh, flea markets and thrift stores. And here we go again. We're just gonna take the pliers and we're gonna rock it back and forth really gently until the pin comes off. Here we go, super easy, right? Just be really gentle, don't pull too hard. And then we're gonna figure out what angle we want this to land on. And again, we're just gonna put it in this little box so that it's secure. And then we're gonna take our E6000 glue. And once we know how we're gonna secure it, how we want it to set, at least two points of contact, then we're gonna go and put that E6000 on there and drop the pin on it. You might need to hold it for a second until it grabs but it'll grab really quick. E6000 dries real fast. Perfect. Okay, shut your E6000 after you use it every time because it will dry fast and it'll kind of pour out of there on a warm day. Two down. See how easy this is? This is gonna be beautiful too. Can you imagine? This with this with this, right? So pretty. All right, so we're gonna let those dry and I'm gonna show you another set that you can do. So this is for a wedding, but I'm gonna show you something really cool for Christmas pins. And I don't know about your family, but in my family, my grandma used to collect these Christmas pins. And when she died, she left me a bunch of these pins and I didn't know what to do with them. I mean, but I figured out there was a way that I could use them when I hosted Christmas dinner at my house so that everybody's place setting has a different Christmas pin from grandma really beautiful. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. That's going to be our second craft. So our Christmas set is going to be even easier because um, these napkin rings I picked up, the silver ones I got at Bed Bath & Beyond, the gold ones that I was just using, I actually got these at a Salvation Army. So that was a set of four that I picked up. Um, those were, I think, $2 for a set of four. 
These, I believe, were $5.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond, so very inexpensive. These are square, so these won't roll around. These are gonna be super easy, because, right, you could just set them right here, and we can glue on top of them, and they won't move. So the thing that you need to figure out is which way you want your pins to go. Because I usually put my napkins this way, which means the napkin holder would be this way, I prefer to go straight up and down with my pins. But you can go sideways too, it just depends on the pin and, and how you like to set your table. So um, since mine would be like this, you know, I'll set them this way. These pins are really cute. So one thing you need to do when you're doing this craft is look at the back of the brooch and see if it's silver tone or gold tone. And that's really gonna determine whether you want silver or gold napkin rings to go with it. So these are silver tones. So I picked four different silver ones. The ones that I did for my um, my own collection, I have 12. I did them all gold because the ones that my grandma gave me were gold toned on the back. But they Christmas works either way. You can do gold toned or Christmas tones. And also if you have um, Christmas china, like a lot of people have their Christmas dishes that they use, you can see on the china if they have gold ridges or silver ridges, and then that will determine which way you wanna go on this. So for this set, we're gonna do four silver toned napkin rings. And these I got from the Salvation Army, two thrift stores, and this is one I picked up at a garage sale. I think this was like two bucks. Three or, f uh, this one was more expensive. My Santa and Frosty here, I think this was $12. So this is the most expensive one and this candle was just a few bucks. So again, really inexpensive, but they look really fancy and they look expensive, especially when you see how we're gonna put them in the boxes. I got this awesome box from Ross, Dress for Less. It's a really inexpensive velvet box for $5.99. And we are going to use this as our display box. And because this is green, I thought this would be pretty with red napkin. Okay. Here we go. Let's start by, what do we always do? Put on my glasses. And we wanna take off the pin. So go to the back, open the little latch, and take the pin off first. And just doing this makes it a lot easier to attach. It'll be flatter. Boom. And then I take this needle, and you're gonna put it in an old used wine bottle and this one is a screw top so that it won't come out. Keep that safe, okay? So we wanna make really sure that the needles don't just go in the trash can. You gotta put them in something so that you're safe. Okay, then you're gonna figure out how this is gonna lay. And because these aren't round, we're gonna be able to really easily just balance them just on this towel. Easy points of contact right here too. All right, so we are just gonna set it just like that. Here we go. This grabs really fast. It's awesome. Just kind of center it. Here we go. Our next one is a candle. Same thing, just rock off the needle. It safely away. Find out how you want this to sit. Okay, in this case, this is interesting. Um, both of these points of contact, both of the, I've taken the needle away, but the little um, device that the needle was in on the back is getting in the way. So I'm going to take the whole backing off. And again, I just pull it off with this the wire. There we go. Off. Done. Yay. Got the bottle too. Now this is going to lay, yeah, so much better. That's out of the way. Throw your E6000 on there. Perfect. Sits on there just right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And this is a great way, you know, the, all those brooches that are in your grandma or your mom's or your aunt's jewelry box, nobody wears them. This is a way to display them all the time. And I, I do this with, for every, every meal that I have, really, even everyday meals, I use one of my jewelry for your table napkin ring sets. 
I just think it's so pretty and it really dresses up a table. They look very expensive, they are very inexpensive, but more than that, it just looks like you took a couple of extra steps in setting the table instead of just throwing your forks and knives down there and putting paper or napkins out. Do a nice cloth napkin and do a pretty joy for your table napkin ring. Okay, and now we're just gonna take this and do the same thing we did before, which is just kind of scoop away the excess glue. Let me get that off there. Before it dries too much, but even after it dries, you can still pick it away with this kind of glue. All right, throw that away too. And then we you guys, that's it. That's how you do this craft. The rest of it is just how you put it together with the napkins and the baskets or the boxes. So I'm gonna put all this together and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like before I present it. So I told you that I'm making one of these sets that we're working on today for my girlfriend, Jenna, because she just got married. And I found this really beautiful box. This box, I ordered something online and it came in this really pretty box with ribbon. And I thought, I'm gonna save this box because I'm gonna repurpose it. And this is a perfect wedding box. So what I did is I got a wedding card and I am going to cover up the label of this box. And, I'm, and this is gonna be special for Jenna. It'll look just like it was made just for her. Again, using that glue and just center the card over it and I'll let that dry, and then I'll sign the card. I mean, how beautiful is that, right? That is how we're gonna present Jenna, her gift. And what I might do too, is put a little ribbon over to keep the card sh shut. Once this is, once the um, craft is in there and we tie this with a pretty bow, I'll probably put another bow around it just to keep this in place so that when she takes the first bow off, she can read the card. And then she'll be able to open the box and see her. I'm back. Uh, okay, so our napkin rings have now dried. And again, we've got two different sets. We've got the set for Jenna's wedding that are the gold and rhinestone. And then we have the set for Christmas in silver. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put the napkins in them and how we're going to present them because that's really fun too. And that's part of this project, not just making the rings themselves, but also putting the accessories with them so that you can gift them in a beautiful way. So let's start with, okay, let's start with Jenna's wedding napkins. Here are the beautiful napkins that we're gonna use for Jenna's napkin rings. And there's a lot of different ways you can display this. Since this box has plenty of room, we're gonna, I'm gonna lay them out just all, all across, four across. And so I'm gonna take this napkin and let's play with this a little bit. Here's one of the rings. Okay, this is dry now. So we're going to just roll this up and tuck this into the napkin ring. So we can kind of do it like that. And then what I like to do is fan out the bottom and the top so that they lay flat, right? So you kind of roll them up to put them in and then fan out the top and the bottom and then they'll lay flat. And then they won't really move. So let's do four of them like that. And then they don't roll. This is a really great way to display them on the table so they don't roll. Beautiful. 
again, this looks like something that you would buy at Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom. How pretty is that? And then in this case, we'll just tie a ribbon, the ribbon that came with the box at the bottom. This looks so wedding-y, doesn't it? How pretty is that? And then I'm gonna sign the card and then I'm gonna add another ribbon to the top to just keep the card shut. Okay, so let's finish our Christmas set. The reason I have this basket out is baskets. You know, a lot of people get these gifts in baskets with this, um, you know, this paper over it with ribbons. Hold on to these, because these are great to re-gift. This would be beautiful to display these in too. So you can find a pretty way to arrange um, these napkin rings and napkins in a basket. But I just wanted to show that you that there's different ways to gift these. You don't just have to put them in a box. Um, for Christmas, like I said, I got this really cheap box from Ross, but it's beautiful, it's velvet, and they come in all different colors. I found like 10 different colors. These are beautiful. Um, so I bought a bunch of these. And then these uh, napkins are from Bed Bath & Beyond. So there are four four napkins for $9.99, so that's a great deal. Okay, so we've got four. So what I'm gonna do, because uh, this is smaller, I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this set. Then what I'm gonna wanna do is take the napkins and make them pretty small so that they just kind of support the napkin rings. So let's try that. Let me do this a little tighter. So I'm taking these kind of big napkins and I'm refolding them so they're smaller and then I'm going to roll them pretty tight. And this is just a way to get them into this box so that the person that receives them goes, oh, I get it, they're napkin rings with napkins. Because you don't want to just give them the napkin ring without the napkins um, in them. I think a cloth napkin makes it look much richer. Okay, so this one we'll do this way. So we'll just have the napkin kind of sitting like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Push that down in there. Look how cute that looks. And again, let's make sure that when they shut, there's plenty of room. Yep. Okay, now this time, we're gonna put one at the bottom because we're gonna wanna uh, stagger them so that they all fit. one way to gift them, right? How pretty is that? Again, it looks like something you would buy at a department store, right? So here we are. We've got two sets done in one day. That's it. Hope you liked it. Pretty easy to do. Give them as gifts. And here's another neat thing too. Um, once you kind of decide what somebody likes, every time they have a birthday or every um, holiday, Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, you can just gift them another set, two more for each, until they have like a, a set of 12, which is really neat to finally get a set of 12 of anything. That's the craft for today. It's called Jewelry for Your Table. You can find out more in my book, Jewelry for Your Table. You can get it at Barnes and Noble and Amazon.com. Um, thank you for watching Lisa Guerrero TV. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch me on Inside Edition. Thank you and have a great week.